Hi everyone, I'm Catherine. I'm the Access Officer for the Physics Department at the University of Oxford and today we're going to be going through a PAT past paper problem. We're going to be looking at question 3 of the 2011 paper and I'm going to show you one possible way of solving this problem. So, let's take a look. The area A is defined as the area to the left of point X within an equilateral triangle of sides length A. Okay, equilateral triangle, we're immediately thinking all three sides are the same and all three angles are 60 degrees or pi by 3 radians. Alright, find an expression for A as a function of x for uh, x is between 0 and A over 2 and for x is between A over 2 and A. So this first one is going to be for when x is between 0 and A over 2 is going to be up to this halfway point here. And then the second half is going to be asking us about what happens if x keeps going, keeps getting bigger. Then what is this shaded area A? Alright, let's start with the straightforward one, which is going to be this first half. For x is between naught and A over 2. So we're always going to be looking for a triangle shape like that. So, 1. For uh, 0, x... Uh, a over 2 is what we're looking at. Now, formula for the height, uh, sorry, formula for the area of a triangle. In general, area of a triangle is, and I'm sure you'll know this one, uh, half times the base times the height, uh, height being the perpendicular height, the height that is perpendicular to the base. Okay, that's going to be useful because essentially for this first half, what we're doing is we're finding the area of a triangle where our base is length x. So we've got a triangle that looks something like this, where we've got x here. Um, we want to know the area of this triangle. Uh, if we call this height of this triangle h, um, what we really need to do is to find an expression for the height in terms of a and x because then if we've got that, then we can use our normal area of a triangle formula to find out what the area is. So, what do we know? Well, we also know that this is an equilateral triangle, remember? So, that means we know this angle here. We know that theta equals uh, pi by 3 radians. Uh, and we can use a little bit of trigonometry to find what h is. Because uh, this is a right angle, so we've got a nice straightforward right angle triangle. So, H equals, uh, what's it going to be? It's going to be an opposite and adjacent, so we've got uh, T, O, A. Uh, H is, our, is opposite our angle, so it, that is our O. So we've got H equals uh, tan theta times the adjacent, so H equals X tan theta, which is x times tan of pi by 3, or tan of 60 degrees, it's all the same. Now I can never remember what tan of these useful angles is, but I can remember what sines and cosines are. So this is the same as uh, x times sine of pi by 3 uh, divided by tan of pi by 3, sorry, cos of pi by 3, tan equals sine over cos, cos of pi by 3, and I know what both of those are, so sine of pi by 3 is root 3 over 2, cos of pi by 3 is half, so we're looking at x times uh, root 3 over 2 divided by a half, or root 3 times x. Okay, so that's that's it. That's our expression for the height of our triangle. So then we know the area is the base times the height. So area is, sorry, the area is half times the base times the height, which is half times x, which is the base times the height, which is root 3x, which equals root 3 over 2 times x squared. Alright, so that's part 1 done. 
Part two looks a little bit trickier because we seem to be working with a slightly funny shape. I'm going to get a new piece of paper so that we've got plenty of space for this. All right, so let's redraw our diagram. What have we got? We've got our uh, vertical axis, our horizontal axis, and we've got our equilateral triangle. Uh, we've got our length x, which this time is beyond our halfway point. Uh, so this distance here is a, this distance here to our line is x. Okay. And the area that we're trying to find is this area here. That's what we're looking for. Now there are a couple of ways of thinking about this and it's kind of going to depend what is most obvious to you. You might want to find the area of one half triangle and then work out the area of this other shape that remains here and add the two together. But the most obvious thing for me is to think about the area of the whole triangle and then subtract off this little corner here. Because we already know what this length here is, uh, we know that that is going to be a minus x. So, what are we going to do? Well, first of all then, let's work out the area of the whole triangle. What's that going to give us? Area of the whole triangle. Uh, I'm going to call that a t is going to be a half times the base of the triangle is a the height of the triangle. Uh, we haven't worked this out yet, but we absolutely can. Let's call it h t height of the triangle. Uh, and that is easy enough because we know it's a an equilateral triangle. So we know that uh, this angle here is pi by 3. We know that this distance here is a over 2. So we can just do a bit of trigonometry again. Um, and uh, this is h t. So uh, h t. Actually, let's do some let's do some Pythagoras. Why not? We did trigonometry on the last one. Uh, h t is going to be the square root of because we know that this is a. Remember, so this is our equilateral triangle. Uh, is going to be the square root of a squared minus a over two squared. And you absolutely could do this using Pythagoras. Uh, sorry, using trigonometry. I just fancy to change. So. Uh, what is that going to give us? If we pull out the uh, a squared uh, and we square root it, that will give us an a. And then we've got 1 minus uh, 1 over 4, uh, which is going to be a times the square root of 3 quarters, which is uh, root 3 over 2 times a. OK, so that's the height of our whole triangle. Um, so that means that the area of our whole triangle, AT, is going to be a half times A times root 3 over 2 times A. Uh, and tidying that up a bit gives us root 3 over 4 times A. Alright, so that's the area of our whole triangle. Then what have we got left? We've got, let's call this bit here, B. So this little triangle here, uh, it's got some unknown height, um, but we know that the base of it is A minus X. That is B. But actually, this is just the reverse of the problem we did in the first half, right? If you think in the first half, what we were doing was we were finding the area of triangles like this one here. It's exactly the same, where before we were looking at a le base length of x, we're now looking at a base length of a minus x. So, let's just port over our answer from the first half. Let's just copy what we were doing in the first half. So we know that uh, on this triangle, for a base length of uh, base length of x, 
we have a height of root 3x and a total area of root 3 over 2 times x squared. Well, this time our base isn't x, it's a minus x, but the formula for our area is going to be the same if we exchange a minus x with x. So, let's use that. So the area of b is, let's call it a b, equals uh, root 3 over 2 times a minus x all squared. Okay. And that is by similarity with part a. Part 1, rather. Okay. So now we're pretty much done. So we've got the area A, which is what we were actually asked to find out in the first place, is going to be the area of the total triangle AT minus the area of B. And we've got both of those things written down here. So that is going to be uh, root 3 over 4A minus root 3 over 2 a minus x all squared and that is our answer so i hope that has helped i hope that has shone a little bit of light on this question of the 2011 paper we're going to be back again next week next week helena is going to be looking at question 25 of this paper uh, so that's question 25 on the 2011 paper so do have a go at it do have a look at it and if you've got any questions any uh, problems anything that's not quite clear do just send us a message in the comments down below and we'll see what we can do. I hope you've enjoyed this and I'm looking forward to working with you all again. Thanks everyone.